Hello everyone and welcome to Dynascape Software's Dynascape Design version 6.2 webinar. In this webinar we'll be going through some of the new tools and features included in the most recent update to the Dynascape Design software. My name is Mike Tripp, one of the salespeople here at Dynascape Software. And uh, in this webinar we'll be going through the three main tools. The first one being the figure outliner tool. The second being the PDF importability as a raster. And the third one being the building outline uh, closing tool. So what we're going to do is get right into the Dynascape Design software right now. The first one, uh, the importability as a PDF, uh, as can be done very easily. Uh, on the left-hand navigation menu here, you're going to be going into your imaging tab, which is on the, uh, the left-hand side at the bottom. Clicking on this, and then uh, to import them in, you're going to be looking under the Add Image section at the top here, and the tool on the far right will be the Import a Raster Image. So in here, you're going to go in and look for your PDF that you want to import. In this case, it's our uh, lot plan here. Clicking on that and clicking Open. Now, once it gives you the crosshairs, what you're going to be doing is dragging and dropping the uh, PDF image the same way you were for JPEG images. So left clicking, and this will give you your diagonal bar to uh, your diagonal line to ensure that the constraints are held the same. So and then you're left clicking again and the software will add the PDF onto the background for you. So now once it's in the software, it'll be treated the same way um, any of the JPEGs were. Uh, and if you actually go into the um, revise tool here and display the raster list, it will actually show up in the same list as the JPEGs, and it actually does create a JPEG for you out of that PDF. So it does convert it over into a JPEG anyway. Um, and so that now for now therefore you can still um, create uh, make it invisible if you wanted to, uh, or remove it off of the, the uh, drawing completely, and then you can still uh, be able to revise uh, it and uh, resize uh, the PDF into the proper uh, dimensions based on the drawing scale you're working in. So what I'm going to do now is uh, remove that off the drawing, click OK, and I'm back to my black uh, background. Uh, the second tool I'm going to go through is my uh, building outline tool. So in my uh, building outline creation uh, toolbox here, I'm going to open that up, and it looks very uh, similar to as it did before with the simple addition of being able to close the outline. So if anyone remembers uh, being able to draw the um, building outline tool before, if I zoom in here a little bit, I was able to uh, add my lines onto my drawing, and I was have to, having to basically create a new to, uh, line that went beyond it and have to create a corner out of this. But now what I'm able to do is if I remove this one completely, go into my building outline tool again, click on close outline, and I'm going to be drawing this one uh, the same way I did before. I'm going to be draw dragging and dropping my lines in here. And you can see what it's actually going to do is give me a ghost image here of where the line is going to complete. So I can drag that through. And then if I right click to close that, it's automatically going to close my line and give me an enclosed space. Uh, this can be done obviously in either direction. I can keep drawing my lines here and uh, it will give me my image of where the, uh, the final line is going to end up. So now I have a full uh, square I can complete. If I can just right click here, it's going to give me a, a completed line, uh, ensuring that you still have your uh, smaller baseline uh, on the outside of it for any uh, lines you're going to add on attached to your house. So it's very easy. You can turn this off and on as you need, uh, still being able to add any specific lengths or angles, um, and still keeping uh, with being able to add in windows and doors as well. So very easy tool to use. So again, I'm going to remove this out of here completely. And uh, now what I'm going to do is show the final tool here. And uh, what this will basically allow you to do, um, if anyone remembers, I'm going to draw a small box um, within my drawing limits here. Um, what I was able to do uh, or having to do with my um, site furniture uh, figures in the library here, if anyone remembers, I was able to add in my figure onto the um, section here. And if I wanted to add a hatch pattern, for example, if I select my hatch patterns, out of the limit here, or out of the uh, Dynascape patterns. I was able to select the um, boundary for me, uh, but then adding in my hatch pattern, I was having to, it was either going underneath and covering up my um, site furniture library figure, 
or um, I was having to explode it and, and create a, a borderline around it, which is essentially what this new tool does. So if I remove this information out of here uh, temporarily, so what I'm going to do here is, uh, again, drop in my f uh, figure pattern I want to use. I'm going to use my um, outline tool here, and uh, very easy to use. I'm just going to left-click on the figure and then right-click, and that adds a uh, temporary line around the outside of the figure. So what this uh, will now allow me to do is um, I'm going to draw a line right through uh, my figure and my border. Um, so it's going to start on the outside of my border, go right through my figure, and then on the out to the um, outer extents of my, uh, my border area that I'm going to be hatching in. This will basically uh, separate out the areas and allow the calculation of the hatch pattern to be done a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do here is select the hatch pattern I want to use. I'm going to left click in this area and right click. It's going to fill in the hatch pattern for me. And then left click in this area and right click. And it's going to fill it in for me again. Now all uh, I need to do is basically just to remove my line and you have there a uh, completed hatch pattern without interfering with any of your um, details within your um, figure. Uh, of course, if you did want to move your figure at a later time, uh, move it off to a different area, you will have to conduct this process over again. Uh, but overall, this tool does save you a lot of time uh, having to uh, either draw a border around it or uh, explode in the figure and having to uh, to re-add a figure entirely. So again, to demonstrate, I'm going to uh, show this again. I'm going to uh, switch back onto my all layers on mode, so I make sure I delete my uh, existing uh, figure outline. So I'm going to start with adding my figure I want to use. I'm going to drop it into my enclosed area, escape out of that go into my figure outline tool here in my edit menu. I'm going to left click on my figure, right click, and that completes it. And then I'm going to select a uh, line tool and I'm going to draw a line right through my uh, area I'm going to hatch. This can be done uh, horizontally or vertically. Uh, it can be done in any direction as long as it goes through uh, completely the space you're, in, you're um, hatching as well as the figure itself. I'm going to draw it right through. I'm going to select the hatch pattern I want to use. I'm going to left click in here. It's going to give me my border. I'm going to right click. I'm going to left click again in the bottom area here. Right click to complete it. And then all I need to do is remove the line afterwards and there you have it. So those are the three main tools you're going to be using or the, the three main updates into the uh, Dynascape uh, version 6.2. Uh, a couple quick notes: um, the drawing, the page limits or the um, uh, border limits of the PDF uh, import ability are actually set at uh, 17 by 24. So any 17 by 24 page size and under um, will be able to import very easily into the uh, software. Anything larger than that, um, you may have an issue with, so you may have to condense the size down using a uh, PDF um, resizing tool or uh, program. Uh, for a full list of all of the features and um, updates that were done on this uh, uh, version 6.2, you can visit our website and under our uh, product updates, there's a full list of everything that's uh, been added here. So um, for any um, questions about the update or any questions about any of the tools that were covered during this up, uh, webinar, you can contact me. My uh, information's up on the screen there. For anyone who has uh, any difficulty downloading the update at all, uh, please contact Tech Support and their uh, phone number and email is below there as well. So thank you for uh, attending the webinar. Um, if anyone uh, needs to address anything further, you can uh, feel free to give us a call. Thank you for your time.